Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Wilhelm Odenai, or aka Wilhelm the Wise. We are back, and I want to first apologize, because we've been away for a while due to technical issues, but we are now back. Uh, I'm hoping uh, it is solved. Uh, currently, we can still not uh, stream lives on the PC, but we're working on getting something figured out for that, and that'll come up soon. But we will be, uh, as you see, playing Skyrim. Uh, I did have a uh, corrupt save, so I had to delete and restart. Delete some mods, but we are going to do a, a new playthrough with a new character that I'll introduce to you. But more importantly, I, I want to tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, we got an invitation from PlayStation. Okay, that's cool. I appreciate each and every one of you that have stuck it out, who have continued to grow with this channel. And I want to say that uh, if you want to show support for this channel, we have started a GoFundMe for affordable homestead housing uh, that will be available for low-income families or for actually technically any walk of life that wants it really. I want it to be open to all lives. But uh, I do want to emphasize that it's, it's, it is going to be designed and aimed towards low-income houses, people who can't afford it. This, this whole idea is, is just for that specifically. We aim to help as many people get back to uh, the true nature of humanity, or what we think is the true nature of humanity, which is community and togetherness, but also living uh, with nature and not against it. So if you want to support this channel, and, uh, and you love what you see, and there will be more videos, I will be trying to do more videos as we go. Aggressively, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing as much as possible. But if you want to show support in our channel, there is a description. And in the description, you'll find the link to the GoFundMe. I hope you'll uh, make the option to show support. And if you just continue to watch, that in itself shows its support. So I appreciate each and every one of you, and I love you all. And I hope that you enjoy uh, what we're about to play. And I need to turn down that music volume because it is loud. And we're going to be doing Gorbash the Pale. This is an orc. I've never played an orc character, so I decided to... Oops. I have decided to do an orc playthrough. I know last time I had a Khajiit, but this time I have an orc. It is modded. There are some things that make it easier and some that make it harder. I've enhanced it. This is not a legit playthrough. I am just trying to enjoy myself. And I like to share my experiences with Skyrim with with all of you. As well as anybody who is interested in trying to play it. Uh, I know quite a bit about Skyrim. I know quite a little about Tamriel itself and its history. I wouldn't say I am a fanatic about it, but I am a big fan. So if you have any questions, I do have my lovely robot assistant who we still have yet to name. Uh, I think it's up and running, so if you have anything to ask, go for it. And I will answer your questions post haste. So we are uh, a pale orc. It's supposed to be pale orc, as you can see here. He's is in Elder Years, and he has a specific and unique uh, backstory for his character. And that he is in his Elder Years, and he is looking for his death, a good death. And he is well renowned for his, his fighting skills. But he is also very well known for his hate of magic. So this guy does not do any magic. As close as he gets to magic is uh, potions. You killed the dragon. Yes, I killed the dragon. I had already started this character. But he hates magic. In fact, he will not take anything that is magic unless it's from a mission. That the only accept that is if it's a weapon that is that is from somebody he trusts and he knows that he trusts, he will accept it from a mission. So if it's like a daedric quest item, it's acceptable. Uh, shouts are acceptable because it's an inabordant ability. It is not magic necessarily. And we're going to say that one of the dragons, the first dragon that we fought, 
or Alduin himself uh, activated it by shouting at me as the champion who is going to beat him. But we are going to play this playthrough. It's a very interesting playthrough. I, I'm not allowing myself anything but heavy armor, no bow. I will not be doing any archery in this game playthrough. Uh, no enchantments. I will be doing potions. It'll be. S I have a specific playthrough for this one. I work with my mother, sell fruits and vegetables. And his choice is uh, battle axe, two-handed. But yeah. I hope you enjoy. I think I am. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. No. Dang it. Actually, I'll be right back. Just give me one second. Hello my friends. And I hate it when I forget the mic. <laughs> but I was, uh, like, it, I was saying when the mic was off, I was testing the delay. So the, about chat is about five second delay, and action in video is about eight second delay. So when I do something in the screen, it's going to happen eight seconds later, versus like between YouTube and my actual stream, it's about eight seconds delay. So you guys are seeing it. Everything you see will be in eight seconds after. I think that's what it means. Yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> so right now, no, dang it! I keep doing the wrong thing. There we go. We are supposed to go see the gray beards. So I guess that's what we'll do. I think I have plenty of potions. Oh, I gotta show you my stats. So you know what I'm working with. Oh, 
that music is so relaxing. I do hope everybody is enjoying their day immensely. And that they're making the most of themselves and achieving their fullest potential. I enjoy this game and it's relaxing and I hope you, you all enjoy everything that you you see. And I'm also hoping that it doesn't crash on me because I am playing on the PlayStation and this PlayStation is not new. So it, it might click out if that's the case I might play a different game. I know a lot of you might not like it but I'll probably end up playing Fortnite or something else. Who knows? I do want to show you guys uh, one of the Far Cry games eventually and do a playthrough on that. For the most part, what I am trying to do is just, like I said, raise money for uh, New Beginnings, which is uh, the sustainable housing that I'm trying to raise money for. But more importantly, it's also uh, finding friendship through relatable to topics, I should say. I put a lot more grass on here, so it looks like more wild and more flourish. I, think I can't think of the word. More robust. I wish I could find a mod that does trees. There's a lot of mods I had to take off because of the update. Which, by the way, I've got to say this both to Bethesda, Microsoft, and PlayStation. You upgraded and updated the creation club so all the mods and creation club are together right but you didn't do it to fallout 4 you have left fallout 4 for playstation 4 behind why does your skyrim look so good uh, it looks good because i use some mods i like to change the way everything is like i was saying i had a lot more mods but uh... Some of the new, the older mods that are no longer compatible with the updated format in Creation Club. Uh, I think I can show them to you. I'm gonna try. Hopefully, let's let's cross our fingers. I can show you the actual like list. Okay, it's gonna show it to you. I was hoping it wouldn't cut off the broadcast. I use a couple different. The ones that are active, the ones that you see checkmarked, are the ones I use. Better animals. It is Which not. Which version is it? Anniversary edition? Uh, it is the special edition. If I'm correct. Yeah, it's special edition. Uh, I did... No, this is not the one that has the free upgrade. I think the PC has the free upgrade. But the, the mods I'm using now currently for PS4, specifically PS4, I want to put that out there for everybody, because depending on what you're playing on, it might change. I think for consoles, it's generally the same but I'm not sure because I don't have an Xbox. Uh, but I have better animals, and that pretty much just uh, what it does is animals will not report crimes because what animal could legitly report a crime? I mean, it's not possible. They can't talk human speech. Uh, all animals now have aggro radius. Uh, removed the aimbot attacks for creatures. Mud crabs and uh, horkers are unaggressive, and they will only fight if attacked. Skeevers are unaggressive, but they will bite your ankles if you get close. Uh, horses are unaggressive, and they will not fight. Uh, Shadowmare is still aggressive, and he will fight. And horses move faster. I think there's no low or Lord Order uh, requirements. And for the most part, I, I, I appreciate that they do this. But for the most part, the system automatically orders it in the way it's supposed to, so nothing happens. There's a fear and fire between that you actually have to do manually. But otherwise, it's good. It is clean. Um, and I have Gardens of White Run, which puts more flowers basically in White Run. I appreciate that. Um, uh, this one is a series. Oh, that's a loud bang. Sorry, you guys, if you just heard that. I have my windows open. Is there any way to call the horse if it is not near you? No, I don't. I don't have that. I usually have to travel somewhere. Most of the time, I actually end up walking most places because I like to experience all of it. I very, very rarely use fast travel on here. 
If, I, if you want me to, I can use horse my horse if, if you want me to, but I, I don't have a mod for that. I wish I could summon it. It'd be awesome, but it's all good. But this is a mod series by, uh, I can't say it, Ju Juleha. And it is the Dirt Replacer. I have, what is this one? Let me see. It's not explaining. Oh, this is the Riften. I have Cave. He, like, everything is retextured a little bit. I have Cave retextures. I have Imperial Dungeons. Why do I have two Dirt Replacers? Oh, well. Can I ask something? Ask something away. Uh, that's Riften. Riften, well, there's so many Riftens. I'm going to have to go through and add some more that are different than Riften. The bean barb is to redone. The rocks are retextured. Farmhouses. So they look more Scandinavian or Norse. Uh, I put, to, I, I put mods... I'm to a point where I have like 100k money and I have three houses already. Well, that's cool. Is there anything I can buy? That you can buy? Other than houses or horses? Uh, if you're talking about things you can buy in the game, you can buy a lot of things. There are customizations you can also What's mine the freely. Point on getting more and more money? Uh, getting more money is to buy houses and buy upgrades for your houses. Uh, you can also use it to actually buy equipment if you choose not to blacksmith or buy potions. Each town will have specifically things that you can purchase uh, to help. Like, I can show you some of the things that I buy. You have categories, you have weapons, apparel, potions, food, ingredients, books, keys, and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is going to have anything to do between trinkets, like you can pick up forks, uh, up till, like, ores. Uh, you can do anything, basically, like furs, ores, I think even firewood, uh, there's soul gems, money, they, they even have charcoal in here, I don't think there's really a purpose for charcoal, but, uh, but like I said, I have, like, I always carry pickaxe and woodcutter's axe with me, because within the world, I bought these. You can find them, but I bought them this playthrough. Uh... You can buy steel pick uh, steel battle axes. There's different types of weapons. But I think this is the kind of game that you get more money than you will ever need. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, you're gonna be so wealthy you don't need to really spend it. But you can int ultimately keep leveling up. That's the real fun point of this of this game. The interesting point of this game is it's infinitely playable. It's got replayability like crazy. I've been playing this Skyrim. Not this specific Skyrim, but Skyrim in general, and all Elder Scrolls games for a long time. And this game, by far, uh, behind ESO Online, or Elder Scrolls Online, this has a lot of gameplay hours. Like, it's it's almost infinite. Uh, I mean, if you get the official walkthrough in paper, it says it's like almost a thousand something hours, but I've been well over that. There's way more to this than, than that you can ever finish. And I'm still finding things that I never ran into. Uh, dungeons I've never been into because I thought I had everything but I still find new things and especially with like, the mod community if you're playing on PC which you're really lucky if you are uh, which I do there's the Nexus mod manager like there's tons of stuff on Nexus mods that can add to the game that are lore what friendly about bugs? Uh, bugs? I played first five hours of Skyrim and I found no bugs but after one zero hours it has so many yeah, if, if you're playing base, uh, Bethesda's infamous for glitches and bugs, and they're almost hilarious. I've, I've seen, if you play base game, see, I'm playing modded. Uh, if you play base game, you'll find a lot of glitches. I've had dragons fly through mountains or even fly backwards. I've had mammoths fall from the sky and survive. I have been, uh, on, when I was in low level, I've been cannoned by a, 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 they have giants here. Sorry if I hit the mic. I have giants here that have hit me on low level, and I've gone flying, like, inc like way high in the air. Like, it, it's, it's insane. There are glitches, but it's, it's humorous. 
Uh, that's why they even have mods for like if you get killed or someone else gets killed, the, the rag doll uh, is like really funky. You will fly and flubber all over the place and you can't even like and they have a gra grabbing mechanic. You can grab free objects and people, even like limbs if you want to, and you can drag them around, but it's like it dangles out. I wish it would have had a mechanic that actually grab with your hand, but it didn't. But there's, I could go on for hours. There's, there's a lot of funny stuff, and you'll probably see some in here. And when you play with mods on PlayStation, especially PlayStation, it tends to be unstable. So I am expecting at least one crash. But if you play on PC, you have, depending on your build, you have a better chance of actually playing. And without a crash, depending on the mods. Uh, you can buy, back on what I was talking about though, you can buy armors. I have steel armor. Right now I don't have the right steel armor for this. This is the Imperial armor set. I know it says steel armor, but it's Imperial armor. It's the boots. I don't know why they chose to do it, but there's sets in this game. Uh, there's potions. Right now I have Frostbit Venom. Uh, you can buy that from the store. There is a potions, and actually, I you know what? Feel like they only polished the first five nine hours of the game. That that it is an honest statement. Yes, I, I, will, I will agree with that. After this, I go to a dungeon. Uh, yeah, we'll do a dungeon. I'm actually going to. Oh, ah, dang! I pressed. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, press the wrong button. Chest only have. Like random items. So I am currently going to One the zero be... gold or so. Well, me, I, I did, like I said, did a mod playthrough. I gave myself a then shortcut. I then I, get, I gave myself a shortcut on gold. This is how much gold I have. Like I said, I'm not doing a legit playthrough. But I am playing Mortal. Yeah, there's people who do god plays, and I've what played a god play. On upgrading lock picking? Ah, lock picking, okay. Let's see. Let's go to lock picking. Lock picking, you definitely want to upgrade lock picking because it helps you. Uh, each tier itself gives you more benefits. Like, novice, lo uh, novice locks are much more easier to pick. Apprentice locks. Uh, there's a lot of chests in this game that are higher difficulty. There's not just one lock that fits all. Like It's not just one specific type of lock. There are advanced ones, so you have to level up to get them. There's Apprentice, Adept, Expert, and Master Locks. Uh, but also, like these tier lists, you get points as you level up to be able to put in things like Quick Hands, able to pick lock picks without being noticed. Uh, wax Key, it'll create a uh, create a copy of the picked locks key. I don't know why that ever come into play. I've never had that need to actually do that. I guess if the, the dungeon re uh, if the dungeon responds, I guess if it responds and it has new chests, you'll be able to reopen it without having to pick the lock. But they have golden touch. Find more gold in chest, so you'll find more gold. Treasure Hunter, 50% greater chance of finding special treasures. That means enchanted items or rubies, rupees or other things like emeralds. Uh, we did that one. Unbreakable lockpicks are never never break, so you actually don't lose lockpicks. So eventually, it doesn't even. You have it, there's no point in actually picking up lockpicks at a certain point. But everything has a purpose in this game, like sneaking. Your sneaking gets better. You're more or less, uh, as if you master up completely, you can practically be in daylight and not even be noticed by people if you do it right. But if you want to go through the, there's uh, stealth. You get five levels of stealth. Uh, right now I am 20% harder to detect uh, while well, sneaking. Uh, you get bonus backstab, sneak attack with one hand weapons, which I'm not doing one hand, so I won't get this bonus. Uh, now do six times damage. Uh, no, it, in this game, what is the purpose when you have so many money that you don't need anymore? Well, it's it's this game is fun to make money in, but to me, it's not just the money per se. It's it's the story. 
that's why a lot of people like to replay it a lot because the story is infinitely like i said replayable there's a lot of choices you actually it's a, there's a moral what i call the moral compass mode uh you have complete freedom to be a bad guy or a good guy and it you could be anywhere in that spectrum, just like you can in D&D. You can do that in here. There is a spectrum of what you do. You have choices and dialogue options. You can pretty much just disrespect everybody. And you can thief from them. You can murder and mayhem. You can murder, ho ho murder hobo all you want. Or you can be a saint in this game. You can completely choose to help only the innocent and, and not and not hurt them at all, not thief from them. You can choose to completely ignore thiefing completely, which I am actually not going to do in here. I'm, I'm playing a good playthrough, what I call good playthrough. There will be some things that I might do on the evil side slightly, but it's only because of story benefit, because I'll get certain things. That's true. Uh, but as far as thiefing goes, sneaking, I would say sneaking is beneficial if you want to play a thief or assassin, or there's a lot of different types of sneaky playthroughs. Uh, the there's quest e of Windhelm serial killer was so bugged. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a lot of bugs in here. But the but sneaking, I would say I like to play assassin. Uh, I like to play assassin playthroughs. That's my most co most common playthrough, and the point of that is to get an attack at the highest critical damage rate without being noticed. I think it feels great to be able to sneak through a dungeon and not be ever noticed. And in these dungeons, when we get to a dungeon, first we're going to be going through... I might get sidetracked and go through some dungeons if I see them. But we're going but to the Greybeards. Point something about the quest of the serial killer. Sure, go ahead. Do you remember the house? I remember the house, I don't, I think it was, Win, yeah, it was Windhelm. I remember that, and it was so weird, because if you did it wrong, it went incomplete. Uh, I like the emblem, the, 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 How empty is it? the skull next. How empty? I didn't feel like it was, if you're talking about empty emotion when you complete the quest, I felt very empty. Uh, I didn't feel like it was worth it. I did like the necklace, it could have been better. But it just The house looked so empty. Yeah, it was it was very empty. Look at this guy. It's my mod that's doing this. He won't attack me unless I get really close, like watch. See? I have to get really close. And then he attacks me. I still have a chance for disease. I'm not immune from that. I think I'm going the right way. But yeah, it was it was very sparse, and I think it was because it was an abandoned house. Uh, I think there's books. If you read the books, when you redo it again, if you get the chance, there's a lot of backstory. That was the, one of the things that Elder Scrolls series is about, and that Bethesda does a, does a lot. Is there's a lot of meat potatoes. There's, there's a lot of things to find out, and you'll Other find some. I don't like. Another skeever? I guess I'm level Is one. When multiple NPCs start talking to me at the same time. Yeah, that's irritating. My favorite thing is the fact that you can't ever get back some of these people that are, they act pompous. Like there's this, <laughs> there's some people in this game that just say some wonderful things that make you stop. In your tracks, and they make you upset because in real life, you wouldn't want people to say things like that. Uh, like, what is his name? The guy that talks about, like, have you ever been to Cloud District? A and he's like, oh, that's right, you probably never have. Like, assuming that I'm not, like, well-traveled, assuming that I am poor, and... Uh, it's just, like, messed up. Come here, butterfly. I collect you. I'll get the other ones later. Here's some wolves. So this character is going to be a more of, of a forward player. He is not going to be a hider. He's not going to be good at stealth. He is... 
don't know why there's no music play. I'm gonna have to check the option. There we go. I'm also gonna turn up. I think I turned the difficulty down. I'm gonna turn that up. I wanna make it a little more hard. Let's make it. Yeah. Let's make it adept. There we go. I did add a mod that adds more butterflies too, so it's more full. Dang it. Get back here, butterfly. Yep, see, I'm bad with stealth because I'm so lunky. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll never be able to catch that deer. I might have to do archery later. I'm not sure. I wanted to try to do a specific playthrough. But if I can never get the ingredients to make certain things like furs and stuff like that. Well, later on I might be able to do shouts to be able to s stun them. But I do want to get a mod that adds more trees here. I feel like there could have been more trees in this area. And this is the... This is Bogress Hold. That. That. Time to fight. That's glitching. There we go. It rendered. Hold it. This here's a toll road. See, you're gonna have to hand over, let's see, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Yeah, that's not. That's not happening. You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Hey, I didn't tell you to take my gold. Whoa. Hey. Hey. That's messed up. Ah. Okay. Well, I got plenty of gold. I guess it's not a big deal. Alright. See, this is an apprentice lock. So this will be harder. And if I weren't... If I would just open this chest... I would have gotten smacked. See if you see right there, there's a mace currently up on a trigger. And all I have to do is accidentally not notice that string. It's pretty hard not to notice, but sometimes these are hidden on the side. They'll put them on the side and you won't see them and you'll open it and it'll trigger a trap. So always be careful of watching these. But I'm going to try to to pick. Nope. But it's not a huge damage. Ah, uh, it's not a huge damage, it but not kill you. There we go. I don't need that iron helmet. I'll leave that. I only take what I need from the chests. If they are gems and coins, I will take them. Things that are more valuable. This has twenty. So I might take that. I can make some money off that. That is two and one. I won't take that. Did you hear something? Oh, you hear something. Battle rage. I'll kill you. Bye. Oh. Ow. Can't wait to count on your coins. Coinage. Yes, please. All right, I definitely have to turn down that music a little bit. It's loud in my ear.
Yo. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit more. There we go, that's better. We will take that. And it's expensive enough, I'll sell them. Did you know there is a glitch to level up stealth in the tutorial? Yeah, it's uh it's it has to do with the bear area. Where's the other guy? I was amazed how easy it was. It was quite easy, yes. I do a lot of I know a lot of glitches in this game. I know the uh the smithing glitch. I can actually show that to you. I like that one. There's a creator's chest. I call them creator's chest, they might be called something else, but I uh you glitch outside of White Run, and you go underneath, and then you can access uh, one of the smith's chests. I'll take that's worth something. Ooh. Where is that? Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Who's shooting at me? Oh, okay. Wait. Ah. But yeah, basically, you glitch out of White Run. You go underneath this area to be able to get uh, this crater's chest. I did not want to grab that. Okay. Nothing there. I can't wait for this rage to go away. That's. Uh, we'll take that. It's worth twelve. Don't need a bucket. But yeah, you go underneath there and you can get ingredients and stuff and you get a bunch of like iron ingots and basically get a bunch of iron ingots, leather and leather strips and make daggers. Just make tons of daggers. And in doing repetition, if you have a lot of them, it will level you up really quick. And I wanted to take that. There we go. Do, 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 do. Yes, I'll take that. I will not touch that. Remember, we hate magic. We cannot take anything magic. Potions are acceptable. Ours are up here. Let's see. I'll take some. Ch no magic. Ah. This character is very anti-magic. Oh, I'm in combat. I'll have to come back. I wonder when this is going to run out. My vision's so blurry. Woo, that was close. Let's go get him. I swear <laughs> I'll kill you. How are you talking? Did you land? You landed. Haha. <laughs> Let's wait one hour. Just go away. Ooh, I leveled up. Alright, so we're not doing Magicka. We're gonna be very low on Magicka. I need some health. Uh, ch -ch -ch. We need some smithing. So now we got steel smithing. I always check all your cupboards. There might be something good somewhere. Okay. Minor potion of healing. Oh, I already checked there. Right, let's go down. Check your barrels for foods. Alchemy ingredients. Oops. That's worth seven, so I won't grab that. Seven. Always take your food because you can make things. Something I always keep on myself. Depends on your playthrough specifically, but I always keep potions. Oh, that's, I already have one of those. I always keep potions and cure disease. I always try to keep them on me. Even if they're first level potions, all the way up into master potions, always keep them on you. 
They come in handy and save often. And some of the things you'll notice in here, I put weightless. There's some things that are weightless that are supposed to be weighted. Like uh, ingots will be weightless because I want to be able to carry a lot. I don't think, to me personally, that's not lore breaking. It is a cheat sheet so for your weight, but I don't mind it. Everybody has their own press preference. And I have conquered this game, so I'm just enjoying it at this point. Now I can mine this. I, I gotta turn this fan on low. Hopefully you guys don't hear that too much. It's starting to get warm. The only complaint I have about where I live is this room, this studio is so hot all the time. It's just always hot. And I never run the heat. None of that's ever ran. Like, I had all winter, I never even had to run my heat. It was wonderful. But good lord, it was always 80 or above. Or if it went below, it went to like lowest 75. And it's just like, even now that it's getting warm. Oh, oh. I checked all those. What am I doing? Time to move on. Let's see if I can cook something. It's always good to see if there's anything available. Not a thing. No poisoned apples either. I think I need more salt. Oh, it's looking beautiful. I don't know why that lighting just changed. But as you can see that the rocks change depending on the area that you're in. There's like more developed area to this more like ancient stone kind of lay through. If you enjoy this playthrough, I'll probably be playing some other stuff uh, throughout this, you know, throughout the days. As I said earlier, I think I'm going to be playing either Assassin's Creed Valhalla and or I will be playing, I'm thinking, that or Fortnite and or uh, Far Cry Primal. I don't know if any of you watching have... Wa uh, ever played Far Cry Primal, it's really good. I like it. Oh, another one. Yeah. Skewer tails are used as alchemy ingredients. Nothing here. Where are all the weeds? There we go. I'm always stopping to collect things. Hi, Mr. Fox. No worries. I had nothing to do with you. Go about your business. Okay. Well, hello. <laughs> I love how it just stopped and looked at me. How? How? That's not realistic. <laughs> oh, look at all that wild that the fish swimming through. That's what I like to see. Waters that are are, are just full of fish. If they ever make the uh, new Elder Scrolls beyond Elder Scrolls Online, I I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that they decide to 
make more things like that, as long as it's stable, of course. It, I think it would be pretty cool to see, like, schools of fish traveling through streams, like if salmon are moving upstream, seeing them going up the stream and jumping. They do that here in Skyrim, but they don't have a path, you know? It's like a repeated thing. There's not actually, like, you know, like, I don't know, like in GTA, you can follow an NPC, and they don't have a specific path. They actually go on a little adventure. I've, I've actually watched a this guy like walk around a 12 a 12 block radius and go back to his car and get in that's a path not like a repetition and sometimes it would vary like this this one round he went through the alleyway instead of going around the whole you know like outer series of the blocks he went in between things like it'd be nice to see fish swimming around different parts like if there's an open water uh water source i would like to see a fish go up a river and swim into an open water source and you know and like it'd be cool you know eventually I think we'll get to that point in gaming where it's that realistic or even more AI driven uh, RPGs I would like to see that more freedom for the AI to actually think of itself and to have more sentience so it can actually make its own choices which would be kind of cool so each individual NPC would be completely and utterly, like, f free, f free roaming. Imagine, you know, like, an NPC divorcing their wife to go marry somebody else because it didn't think it would like the marriage it was in. That would be cool. I could talk for hours about that kind of stuff. No worries. I'm on your side. Uh, let's see the map. Sometimes I just ramble. Yep, this might be the area. This marks the area that I might be going up. Oh yeah, I think this is it. That's why I got that grass overhaul. It hides some of those paths. You have to find them. Hop, 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 hop. Run, buddy, run. We got this up the hill. Uh, but I think I gotta go up that way. Or, wait. Mm, I think it's this way. Eventually, my, uh, my goal for this game, not this game on PlayStation, but for my PC build, is to get it modded to the point where it feels like in a completely different game. I would love that. Oh, I got a text message. Okie dokie. Oh wow, I've been live for 48 minutes. That's cool. I hope you guys aren't hearing the fan too much. It's helping me. I was getting warm. Boo boo doo boo doo boo. Oh. Thank you for all those questions, by the way. I don't know if you're still here, but I appreciate all those questions. It, it, it's it's hard to talk to nobody when you're streaming these lives. It really is. It's it's different. It's it, it's a learning experience. Learning how to talk to a machine without anybody talking back. And it's just it's hard to continuously just keep going. You end up like just dead space. You know, just not saying a thing. It's easier for recording episodes, which we plan on doing l later, once we figure out the PC issue. I mean, we figure it out, but it's, well, different. You are lucky. No I haven't picked sides yet, so you're lucky. Otherwise, you would be in a world of hurt. Come 
Come on, you. I see you. Oh, I did the wrong thing. No, I didn't want to waste that. Dang, noobit. That sucks. We wait an hour. I gotta put my shout back on. Yay, I'm going the right way. Today has been a wonderful day. A lot of foxes. I believe there's a troll here. Somewhere. It's gonna pop up on me, I know it. Oop, I think I see a glow of a nern root. Gimme those ores. Cool thing is, once in a while you might get a gem in some of them. Oh, yep, there's the troll. Oh, ho, ho. he already knows I exist. Thank you. Boom. Ah. Ah. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Health, health. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I survived that by, th by of the hair of my head. I'm gonna have to get more potions. I did see a glow open in root. Wee. Yay, heavy armor increased. I will take this. I will sell it. Captain, there have been multiple complaints about attacks near the river northwest of the rift. We could use some more civilian support from that area for the war effort. So send a few men to investigate. It's probably just a couple of wolves. So you'll only need to send at most two men. Happy hunting. Well, it wasn't two wolves. That's that backstory I was talking about. I'm gonna take that skull for later because I have Hearthfire uh, DLC. But despite the glitches in this game that may occur, I promise you, if you are if you are deciding that you want to play this game and try it out, it is worth it. You will enjoy it, especially if you've never played a Bethesda game. You could jump right into this and just enjoy a grand experience. I would even even go for as further to say buy all of them, because all of them have their great perks. Oblivion has its greatest perks. Uh, ESO has its greatest perks. Even though I, I'm not a big fan on MMORPGs. I am. I like the the story. I used to like MMORPGs, but it's just it gets too busy sometimes, and it's like, especially when you get like mic play, like you can talk to people on mic. It really sometimes messes you up and it messes the lore up because some people will say some really weird stuff sometimes. Or like sometimes you'll hear people playing music in a in a medieval s scenario, but it's like music from today. It just doesn't work. But like, yeah, just the, the complete Elder Scrolls series is amazing. And I, I only... I'm. I'm even more so excited with the fact that, like, if there's a new one coming out, future stuff, I can't wait. I may not agree with a lot of the things that the, the gaming industry is doing, but there's a lot of good games that have been coming out, and I look forward to them. And I and I really want them to take their time and make sure everything is a okay. Let's get over this thing with glitches and bugs and broken games. Like Cyberpunk. Love the game. Hated launch. Yay. 
Yeah. Leg of goat. Ooh, I got a goat horn this time. Those are good for the lamp posts when you're building on hearth, hearth fire. That's where I need to go. Sorry to interrupt you. About to make a delivery up there myself. Anything you could tell me about High Rothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of Athuum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. <laughs> well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. I wouldn't want to either. What type of de uh, deliveries do you make? Hey, hon. Mostly food supplies, Hi like dried fish and salted meats. How you, you know, doing? Keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. I actually had someone come in and ask me questions, which I was so proud of. I like it, when I actually get to talk to people. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. That is a lot. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Ooh, excuse me. Here. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Oh, I have no problem doing that. Home soon. Okay. I know I read the text. I was paying attention. Anything I should watch out for during the, the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. That's a lie. If you come up here Watch later on in the game as a higher level, the stairs can be there are other things. Not today. I'm just and not now is time for a save. Give me a second. I said you gotta save often. I'm glad and grateful for the chance to to do this and have the chance to share my experiences of my uh, favorite games and especially to raise something for something that is my passion and my dream to to help people who need it it really is a passion of mine uh, also read these tablets I didn't read this one specifically but if you read all of them you get uh, a blessing I know this was random but you get a blessing But I'm truly grateful to be able to have this chance to be able to stream live on YouTube uh, my favorite games and show you what I like and the things I like to do and how capable I am in playing them and sh you know, showing my talents. But also meeting new people and experiencing uh, new lives and new purposes to the chat whether negative or positive I, I really appreciate any and all things that you all talk about for you are all family I appreciate every single one of you there we go gotcha it really, really feels like you're reaching because you're like you want to get it <laughs> oh even at a dap a a depth levels difficulty level these goats are easy to kill oh there's a glitch rocks are glitching well hello persons keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to high Hrothgar Oh, we got some people blaring music outside. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. How are you not... Uh, nah. How are you... Not cold? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. 
They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Mm-hmm. Actually, let's read that. I didn't read the first one, let's read this one. Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Look at that beautiful sky. Oh, I'm ready. Ha ha! You stand no chance. More of them, goodness. Okie dokie. We're probably gonna end. Uh, we're gonna end this episode at the height of these stairs, and I promise that tomorrow there will be another live. We will be doing more. I plan on being now that we have the proper connectors, connections for the PlayStation 4 to have a better internet. We are getting under 60 megs per second, which is not ideal for streaming on YouTube. Uh, to be able to do that, you need to have quite a lot of data so now we have a direct line magic uh, magic no magic <laughs> at least my character would say that <laughs> emblem of three the fledging spirits sorry the fledg fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times unafraid to war with dragons and their voices but the dragons only shutted them down and broke their hearts. That was a good one. Gotta put a little oomph on that. I'm hoping I get all of them. Sometimes I, I miss them because I'm not looking in the right direction. But yeah, I think it's it's a... I can't remember what God gives you. There's gods in, in, in this game and I'm trying to remember which one. It calms animals, I think. But you must activate each of the of the of them. If you don't activate each one, uh, you will not get the blessing. Someone meditating. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Did you hear the Greybeards called the Dova King? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that if you don't mind. What are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. I. All right, we got the third, fourth one. Sorry, I skipped the fir first one, so it's the fourth one. Kine called on Parthenax, who pitied men. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then the dragon war raged. Dragons against the tongue. Short little stints. Walking up the seven thousand stairs, it feels like an exercise. Ah. 
Oh, I forgot about the Frost Troll. Oh, cruddy. I have never fought you on Adept. It's gonna be interesting, because Frost Troll's extra heals. Oh, boy. Uh. Ooh. Oh, you are not getting hurt. Oh my goodness, okay. Whoops. Oh. Why am I not doing foos? Why am I not doing foos? Do much see it's glitching. There we go. I got KO'd. Well, that's the first honorable death he sought. <laughs> so technically this game is over. <laughs> technically this game is over. My character was seeking an honorable death and I think he just found it. So technically I could end this this game. This game plays and now, now be, he, he met his death. I'm gonna continue playing. And I bet you it's way far away because I haven't saved for a bit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I am dreading what I am going to see. Hmm. Yep, it's far. Oh, well, it's the bottom of the stairs. So at least there's that. So I'm going to end stream here. Uh, that was my try. I will be back tomorrow to do another stream. Or my wife might stream. Uh, but I love each and every one of you. I hope that you make the most of your day. I hope that you remain happy. And if you are down and out, I am here. Just know that there is someone out there in the world that appreciates you for who you are. No matter what you have done in life, you are perfect in every way. You are imperfectly perfect. Enjoy your day and stay blessed. Good day.